Aquarius, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for September and thank you for waiting for this. I know you had to wait a bit for this, I'm sorry about that. Here I am now um, and if you like this reading, as I always ask you, you can like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do, I don't mind. And uh, if you want to support this channel, there are ways of doing that in the description box below as well. I've fixed up some of the links. I know some people have had some problems with that. I'm not very tactical, bear with me. I'm doing my best, but I think I've fixed that pretty much now. Um, so, right, I'm just gonna start your reading right now. Um, the first card you have for your past is uh, the Hanged Man. So yeah, lots and lots of caution. That's what this Hanged Man is, sitting back or hanging back, I should say, not really coming forward not quite feeling ready. There's a lot of cautiousness here, a lot of feeling quite wary of things, wary of people. Um, yeah, I think that's how you've been feeling lately. I'm not quite sure whether to let certain people in or not, or even anyone maybe, and you're kind of just sitting back and thinking, well, no, I just want to be by myself. I'm just going to be very, very careful of who I let in. Um, you know, obviously with this hanged man, that's what he's doing. And you've got the knight, nine of wands, not knight, nine of wands um, right next to this card as well. Both of them are about just being cautious, just kind of, you know, holding back a bit, not being sure, not feeling a bit unsure about things. Um, okay. I think someone might be trying to talk to you, actually. I think someone might be trying to communicate or, or they're thinking, yeah, they're definitely thinking about you. Um, and, and yeah, they'd like to come forward. They'd like to talk to you. They're, they're actually already talking to you, I think, uh, if that's what I'm seeing here is correct. Because it feels like, you know, with this with this two of pentacles, sometimes that can be about a conversation or text messages, you know, going backwards and forwards. You know, my turn, your turn. I've said that, now it's your turn. And, and kind of waiting for the other person. Um, it, it feels very slow though. It feels very, very, very slow. Um, a little, a few words here, a few words there, lots and lots of waiting. And you know, you've got this um, infinity symbol around these coins and that could be about, you know, waiting forever. This is happening really, really, really slowly. So I think that's what's happening in this conversation or these conversations, I should say. Oh, I wouldn't even call them conversations because I'm getting very, um, just little, words here, little words there, not that much depth there, nothing like that there, and uh, lots of caution, lots and lots of caution. It feels like they're a little bit frustrated though, I think, um, but they're not saying anything. I mean, they could say, well, I'm frustrated, or they could say, well, I want more or something, but they're not doing that. Um, yeah, they're not showing you everything. It's, it's almost like a bit of a game of poker, you know, they don't show themselves, they don't show their hand, if that makes sense. You know, poker face, they don't show you what they're truly um, feeling. Um, yeah, because they, they, they want more from you or they want to have more with you. Um, you know, it might be that they're just trying to be a little bit laid back, a little bit cool, uh, but yeah, they're, they're, their mind's not cool, it's working overtime, they're, they're thinking about you all the time, like constantly thinking about you with that infinity symbol. It's like forever, all the time, all day, thinking about you all the time. And you know, the hand man's got this, um, you know, this light bulb around his head. He's not coming forward. He's not taking action, but he's thinking a lot. So that's what they're doing. They're not doing much. They're not saying all that much, but, but they're thinking about you so, so much. They're just, you're on their mind all the time. I'm getting that really strongly here. Um, and yeah, there's passion here. There's passion. There's passion inside them, um, but they're holding back on that. It's, it's like it's almost like they're doing this strange dance, waiting to see what you're going to do. It's like, oh, I feel so passionate. I really want something, but I, I want to kind of wait to see what they're going to do first. I'm not going to do anything until I know that that's approved. If that makes sense, that's kind of what it feels like. So for you, you know, you're holding back. You know, I, I was seeing that right at the beginning. Um, and I think it's because you've had a lot of problems in love, actually. So, um, yeah, someone really dragged you through things, literally. Um, I'm not saying they physically hurt you. Well, maybe they did, but you, you felt dragged through things. You, you felt exhausted as if you were dragged through things. You know, I'm so exhausted after this person separated from me. I, I'm just so exhausted. So you went through all that exhaustion 
and, and now you're cautious, which is c totally understandable. I, I can see you've been through a lot. I think I think you had this axe in your last reading, actually. But um, yeah, they, they damaged a lot of people, this axe, I think. Not just you, not just you, other people. Um, th they're like a big hurricane, this axe, that, leaving lots and lots of mess behind, lots of destruction. Um, so yeah, it's not just you. I, I think everywhere they go, they leave this kind of destruction, this, this kind of mess behind them. Um, yeah, it's a bit sad actually, because I think children might have been involved or left behind um, by them, more than one maybe even. They might have left, you know, people with, or their axes with children, and they kind of ran away. There's that kind of thing, doesn't have to be that, but that's the kind of thing I'm seeing, because I am seeing something to do with children there. So, um, so it's no wonder you're wary if, that, if that's, you know, resonating with you. But, um, I think that trust slowly coming back, very slowly. Um, you know, if, if this is you, you, you're just starting to try and move forward now, just still a bit cautious, but you're kind of just starting now, starting to get out of that, starting to heal from that. Um, so if that's you, don't try and hurry all that up. You know, you're going at your own pace. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you know, you're not going to be 100% healed um, overnight. It, it, it takes time to do this, and you know that. Because, um, you know, I'm just looking down at this Three of Cups and, uh, you know, maybe you've got a few people around you, you know, trying to hurry you out of this, um, you know, oh, cheer up, um, you know, that kind of thing. This is a party card. So um, I think you've got some well-meaning people around you, if that's what's happening. But, um, you know, you've got support around you, which which is a fantastic thing. But um, don't let anyone push you farther than you than you know you should go. Go at your own pace. And you know your own instincts. You know yourself very, very, very well. You know when you're ready to do something and you know when you're ready to hold back. So you're following your own instincts. You're going at your pace. You know you're going to come out of this eventually. You're just doing it at, in your own time, which is the absolute right thing for you to do. And you've got the High Priestess right next to this card. That's all about inner knowing, knowing yourself. And you know yourself. You know yourself very, very well. Um, so yeah, listen to yourself. Um, okay, just, just something else I'm getting here. Um, right, this is a little bit specific, so just warning you. Um, I don't know if you're helping someone right now, because um, I'm getting people around your home. Uh, maybe you've got someone staying with you in your home. Maybe they're you know, you know, staying there, sleeping there in your home for a while. Maybe they're between houses or between places to stay or something. Um, or maybe they're just around your home a lot. Maybe you're just taking care of them, advising them, something like that. Um, you might be helping them out a little bit financially as well. This is all about abundance and sharing as well. So it might be that. Um, okay, I just feel as if I need to say this to someone. You're doing the right thing. If you're helping this person, you're doing the right thing. They need you. They need people around them, rallying around them. You know, this is this is all about coming together, this card, as a collective and sharing and, and togetherness and all that. So don't let anyone tell you, um, oh, you have to be tough with them or oh, be hard on them. Just walk off and let them do whatever by themselves. No, because what I'm getting is that that helps with some people, but not in this particular case, because um, they need care right now. They need someone around them. They need... Um, yeah, they need you. They need you around them. So do what's in your heart, if that's you. Do what's in your heart. And I, I think you're doing that. You see, you're listening to yourself. You know your instincts. You know yourself. You know who's right. You know who to help and who not to now. Because you're very, very cautious. You're naturally like that now. So I would say you know, totally trust in yourself. You're doing the right thing. Um, okay, so the first card you've got for your present is this nine of wands. So yeah, again, slowly moving forward, uh, getting your strength back. Yeah, I, I actually think if that's you and the three of cups, you know, helping someone, uh, it feels like they're helping you as well. You know, because you're getting your strength back. And I think in helping someone else, you're feeling a lot better about yourself. And that often, often happens. They often say to people, oh, if you're feeling a bit down, go and help someone, go and you know, go and volunteer somewhere where you're helping people. So um, 
yeah, I, I really think you're both helping each other if, if that's resonating with you. So yeah, again, you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing for them and for you, if, if that's the case. So, um, okay, a few other things I'm getting here. Um, okay, I hope this is going to make sense. It's, it feels a little bit complicated. Um, I'm getting information. Uh, yeah, it feels like there's, there's something you know. It, it's information. Yeah, it's something about an axe. Now, it might be this axe here, because uh, they left people behind them, and there's a lot of confusion here. And, and I was getting this axe like a hurricane, leaving a lot of mess and confusion and everything behind them. So with all this confusion here, it feels as if that's their energy, that same energy. So I, if you know what this information is that you know about this axe, um, I think you might find yourself having to come to some kind of decision um, as to where you're going to put this information, what you're going to do about this information. Are you going to tell a certain person? That's what I'm getting. Because I'm getting this, oh, should I tell them? Um, and if I did, would they listen? Would they listen to me? Or would they just dismiss me as some kind of crazy ex who wants to cause trouble? Um, and, and that can happen sometimes. Sometimes you can have a very, you know, good intentions. You want to help someone. And they think, oh, that's that crazy ex. Especially if, if that ex has told them all sorts of things about you. You know, that may or may not be the case. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I do think this is something to do with your ex's partner that they're with now. You know something about this ex. You're going to come to a point where I think if you know this information, you're going to be thinking, well, should I tell them? Should I not? Um, yeah, I'm getting children around this. I was getting this before. I don't know why that is. But um, yeah, if you were to tell this ex, this ex's partner, um, about what this is, this information. You're not thinking about doing this for malicious reasons. I'm not seeing that at all. You're not malicious. And um, yeah, I keep on getting children. I don't know why that is. It keeps on coming up again and again. Children, I keep on seeing children. Uh, you know, it might be that they're telling their partner uh, they don't have other children when they actually do. It might be something like that because there's a secret around children and the high priestess is about secrets as well. Um, so, yeah, I, I think if you were to tell this this person about whatever this is, um, you know, I, I think it might be good for you. It might make you feel a bit better. But, um, you know, you might do that and you might come away thinking, well, I've done all I can. I feel a lot better now. At least I've done that. They can believe me. Uh, they can um, think I'm a liar. I don't know, but at least I've tried. You know, you might, that might help you in that way. But I don't think they're going to really um, take it on board. Um, it, you know, the, I think the only way they're going to realise this properly uh, or admit it to themselves, because I think they've got a clue that something's up with, the, with this person they're with, but um, they're going to have to find this out themselves and, and process it themselves. And I really don't think... Uh, they are going to listen to what you have to say, not because there's anything wrong with you, but if you're, especially if you're an ex and they're the current partner, um, they're likely to not really want to listen. Uh, you can you can say that if you like. I think it'd make you feel a bit better if you did, um, but I don't think it would make a bit of a difference to, uh, you know, what they decide to do. If that makes sense. So. Um, yeah, they're going to find out. They're going to find out what this is, whether you say anything or not, because uh, you've got the justice card here. So it's going to come to light, um, no matter what happens, no matter what you do. Uh, you know, that curtain's going to come down, and, um, you know, this curtain in the justice card. So uh, they'll find out what this is. But, um, okay, yeah, just looking at this, this is really interesting, actually, because you've got this, the justice card, and then you've got the high priestess down there. And both of these women have these curtains behind them. So this is hidden right now. And I think if you tell them, it's still going to be hidden because they're not going to believe it. They're not going to want to see this. But it's going to come out eventually. Justice is going to be served. The right thing's going to happen. The right outcome's going to happen. That's what that justice card's about. It's not usually, it can be revenge. It can be, it can be revenge, karma, all that kind of thing. But it's, it's really about the right thing that's going to happen. It's, it's something that's hidden is going to come out and it's the right thing to happen. 
it, it's the right thing for them uh, because they're, they're hiding something, it's the right thing for their partner, it, it's just the right thing for, to happen, that's what I'm getting. Um, yeah, and with this High Priestess, this is a beautiful card, beautiful, peaceful card. Yeah, she can be a little bit of a, a, a Mona Lisa character, actually. You know, a bit aloof, a bit mysterious, and, um, you know, I keep on getting this, whoever this is you're talking to, uh, that they're really attracted to you, really, really, really attracted to you, very passionate, very passionate under the surface. Um, I, I think this might be how they see you as well, you know, a bit, a bit like this, mysterious, a bit aloof, all that kind of thing. And, um, you yeah, know, you've got the Knight of Cups right next to this. So, um, you know, the funny thing about this Knight is, because I'm getting all this passion coming from them, but, um, you know, the, he's offering love this night, but there's not much passion in this card at all. It's, it's very um, perfect. You know, he, he looks so perfect. His armor's really shiny. He's all dressed up. It's almost like he's afraid um, of passion, actually, because uh, it might mess up his hair or something. But, um, you know, he just looks so perfect. It's like, it's like one of those ancient sculptures, you know, beautiful, but, but there's no life in a sculpture. You know, there's no life there. So, and that's how you see them. That there's not a lot that they're showing you. You know, is, is there any life there? Hello, anyone home? It's a bit like that. Um, I think they're probably going to make it a little bit more obvious um, as to, you know, how they feel about you. But just a little bit, you know, they're, they're still not showing you the tip, you know, they're only showing you the, the tip of the iceberg, I'm trying to say. Um, that you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. What's underneath that is all this passion and feeling. But you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. And, and the tip of the iceberg's cold. So you're not seeing any of that passion. Yeah, they've got way more feelings and thoughts and passion and they're thinking about you all the time. But don't be fooled by that coolness, that iceberg, that coolness, because um, there's a lot of passion there and there's a lot of feeling and they're really, really thinking about you. Um, yeah, it's a little bit them, this holding back, or they are doing that, but it's also a bit you as well. And they're picking that up from you, I think. So th there's caution coming from both directions, so I don't want to totally blame them. <laughs> but the caution's coming from you because you're a little bit wary because of what's happened to you. But for them, it feels like they're waiting on what, what you think, but they're just, they don't want to show you everything. I don't know why that is, for now anyway. Um, okay, th yeah, th this is a little bit strange, I think. I don't know who this is for. I I'm just going to come out and say this. Um, so, yeah, this, this feels like a mother and child. There's some kind of mother and child relationship here. Um, I don't know, uh, I don't know if it's you, I don't think it is. It might be someone you're close to. Uh, now, yeah, I'm getting a mother and probably a daughter. If it's not a daughter, it's their child. Um, so, now, there's a mother that wants to reunite with a daughter or a child, uh, their child. So, um... I don't know if you're close to this daughter or the mother, or but you're close to someone, one of these people, and you're going to be involved in some way. Uh, maybe you're helping them, maybe you're going to be finding yourself uh, stuck in between the two, I don't know, but you're going to be in this in some way. Um, yeah, so if you know what this is all about, um, just be prepared for that. Just get ready for some emotion between these two people and... Uh, Get ready to be there to help someone um, emotionally with your emotions. You might have to sit next to someone with your arm around them. You might have to listen. You might have to give advice, that kind of thing. Because um, I'm just seeing you sitting there helping someone. So just be prepared for you to be put in the middle of something like that, um, if that's you. I hope that makes sense to someone. Um, all right, so the first card you've got for your future is this Eight of Cups. So yes. This is someone going away and th there's a return. Because quite often when I look at this, you can see this man, he's walking away, he's going into this hill and, and sometimes he turns around and comes back again. So yeah, this is this return. This is this someone wanting to make a reunion or form a reunion with someone. Uh, yeah, this mother and child. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a mother and a daughter. So 
yes, yeah, someone's hurt someone and, and the other person walked away um, and, and someone's coming back. I, I really wish I could see who's who, but I can't see that right now. I don't know why, but I can't. Um, there might have been a problem with drugs, alcohol, something like that, maybe some kind of an addiction. Doesn't have to be that, but it might be with one of these people. Um, it feels like something took them away. Uh, a thing, not a person, a thing. And you know, sometimes this card can be about, you know, recovering from an addiction, uh, trying to do that, because this man's walking away from the cops. And you know, he's sad and he's hurt, but he's doing the best thing. So it, it can be that. Um, okay, I, I know you probably won't do this because you're a very sensitive person. I know that and you're a very thoughtful person. And that's why you've got all these people um, relying on you that I'm seeing all through this reading. Um, just be a little bit careful of someone trying to force this reunion on the other person. Um, you know, it needs to be up to the person who was hurt, um, you know, as to what they want to do, if they want to forgive them, if they want to reunite again, whatever they want to do, it should be up to the person who was hurt. And I just feel as if someone else might be pushing them a bit. So um, just be careful around that. You might have to be in the middle of that. You might have to kind of be a referee and all that. So just be prepared for that again. Um, yeah, I, again, I know that specific, it's, it's for someone here. Um, I'm just making someone clear on what this situation is going to be about. So yeah, anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, I just keep on seeing that mother. Um, all right. So yeah, the next card you've got for your futures, uh, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is so strange. Obviously, this is the sitting back, waiting, sitting there doing nothing, patience. So again, sitting back, not doing anything. This is this is really strange, actually, because um, you know I, I don't know why anyone would do this. Because I'm Aries, and I, if I wanted someone, especially if I had passion for them, I'd just come forward and say, "Hey," <laughs> but uh, yeah, they want this. This is the thing. They want to come forward, um, but um, and they've got all this passion bubbling up under the surface. They want that, but uh, they're just showing you half of them, the, this kind of half version of themselves, if that makes sense. Um, and I think partly they might be doing this because of what they think you want, because their, their mind's on you and um, how you see them and how they come across to you. So they're probably just thinking, well, what do they want? What are they overthinking, I think, and that's what this Knight of Pentacles does sometimes. Um, but they're thinking about you and they want you. And, you know, look at the way this Knight's gazing at this coin. It's like, oh, I'm looking at this coin. I love this coin. It's, it's the most amazing thing in the world. And, and that's how they think of you, but you're not seeing that coming from them. Um, yeah, I, I think, um, I don't want to say to win you over, but <laughs> I think to make you, um, I think, you know, if they want you to come close to them, if they, if they really want something to happen with you, um, you know, they're going to have to show you who they really are. They're going to have to show you what's under the surface, not just this kind of um, watered down version of themselves. Um, you know, you're still healing. I can see that again. You're still careful. But when you want someone, you want a real person, even as a friend, you want earth, you want reality. You don't want someone who's pretending or trying to be uh, what they think you want because they don't know what you want. No one's a mind reader. So, um, no, I think gradually you'll get to see more of them, you know, the real them. But, you know, that that's if you're patient because, um, you know, it, it's it's really, really slow. Um, but, you know, it, it's slow on both sides. I'm not just blaming them. But I'm not just blaming them. I have to say that it's slow on both sides. You know, I, I wish I could give you a clearer conclusion as to what's going to happen in the end. But all I can see is what's here, this kind of slowness. Um, so that's really all I can say. I'm not going to pretend I can see things. That's really all I can say right now. Um, but yeah, if, if someone's got that much passion for you, um, what I can say is it, it has to come out at some time. It has to come out. You can't keep that kind of passion in all that time, forever. It has to come out. So yeah, so um, Aquarius, uh, this is just a general reading, obviously. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you for watching.